Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call a vote to uh, Satan the meeting. Uh, the minutes on the last minute. Thank you, motion. <laughs> Second, two names. All right, first one. Resolution uh, 2216, hearing on proposal for law Q for 2016. All four of these are oh, able okay. to request and sponsor. Do we have to read them all? Can we just do the You way? can just table them all, one through four. That's your legal opinion? That's my legal opinion. That's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the attorney said. And that's in the interest of moving the meeting along. And that's as why well. I don't ask the other attorney about it. Different. Move it along, Jim. Yeah. Okay. All right, move along. <laughs> okay. Current business. Authorize agreement with the roofing regarding the roof replacement project at the Albany County Correctional Facility. Uh, Mr. Chairman, back in 2016, a request for a bid was put out, I believe number 127. Um, it came in and um, we accepted a company named Titan. Um, once they got up on the roof, and keep in mind this was a 25-year-old roof with a 20-year expectancy, we were able to get five extra years out of it, but they uncovered a, um, a ton of asbestos. So needless to say, the price went up, went back out for bid. And um, as part of the 2017 to 2021 capital plan, um, we're looking for an extra 330,000. Any questions for sure? Puts the total project up to about three and a half million dollars. That's a piled roof. Yeah. No, it's not. It's actually a membrane with rocks on it, but it's the it's the uh, equipment that or the material that's underneath that. Yeah. And we're not going to go with the rock roof anymore either because. I mean, we've got, when it rains right now, it's like, you know, a sprinkler head turning on. And the asbestos came from the car. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure. So, go ahead, one. Yeah. So, is the roof leaking now anywhere in the... Um, Everywhere. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to find where it's not leaking. Yes, we have multiple leaks, and we're... Honestly, man, we're paying a fortune to have roofers come in there every time it rains. So, it's time. We got an extra five years out of it. But it's it's time to replace it. Mm -hmm. okay, Any more questions, Mr. Sure? Take a motion. Motion. Second. Anybody opposed? Unanimous. Authorizing the uh, submission of a grant application to the New York Division of Homeland Security regarding communication system. Who's that? Is that the chair? That's you, sir. You got not me, but I'll, I mean, I'd love to have seven. another one, but <laughs> um, no, that's not me. Seven, seven. It came that? from you. It did? You signed it. Division of Homeland Security regarding interoperable communication. Oh, okay. The grant application, we were awarded a million dollars today from Homeland Security, so there's got to be the follow-up on it. Um, it's part oh. of the same interoperable system. Yeah. Oh. Um, but again, the, the governor today announced the million dollars, a uh, million, I think, five, um, which is going to... Everything that we get in grant funds takes it keeps us away from the capital plan. The radio project in its entirety will be up and running by June. Um, as you know, we had two lawsuits pending on the towers, which we prevailed in. Uh, but the weather, the warm weather, then followed up by the storms, really put us in a um, in a construction predicament. So the towers aren't up yet. Any questions for the sheriff? Take a motion. I don't have any. Second, anybody opposed? Unanimous. Authorized agreement with the New York Department of Criminal Justice Service regarding the 217 Police Protection Equipment Program amended in 2017 Sheriff's Office budget. Is this the $95,000 grant that we received for personal protective gear? Oh, this is yours? My apologies. I gotta come back for audit and finance for $95,000. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Chair, members of the legislature. Um, we are requesting legislative authorization to enter into an agreement and execute a contract with the New York State Department of Criminal Justice Services for 2017 Police Protective Equipment Grant. We have been awarded $249,000 for the purchase of ballistic style vests as well as helmets. It is 100% state funded. This request to the county executive's office? It is, yes. So it's for municipal police agencies rather than the sheriff's department. It's not all for me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's for all the municipal police agencies in the county. Of all the <laughs> yeah, the sheriff gets some, but it's, it's spread around. Yeah, it's yeah. for everybody in the county. We're getting a portion of it, and then in order to finance tonight, I'm coming back for another one that we received for personal protective okay. here as well. Part of the grant was that it be. Um, 
administered through the county executive's office. That was per DCJS, which is why we're presenting it tonight. I'm sure he's highly qualified. I'll make that motion. <laughs> move it. Question. Bill, go ahead. No, move it. Move yes. It. Second. Second. Anybody opposed? It's unanimous. Thank you. Thank you. Take a motion to adjourn. Yes. Motion. Just, just yeah. Mr. Cameron. I, I heard you buying dinner tonight. Is that right? Yeah, <laughs>